Hallelujah. Praise God. Oh, the Lord is good. The Lord is good. It's so amazing to be in his presence. I just want to share um, good news with us about my journey uh, with weight loss. Amen. And maybe I can inspire someone as well. You know, I remember a few years ago, you know, I, I saw a brother and he was, you know, kind of slim and i was like what's your secret i mean I, i've been trying so hard to to burn some fats but what was your secret the guy told me honestly i envy you i envy you and i wish you don't want to know my secret because i have none you know he told me he had he had a rare disease or whatever that whenever he eats he vomits you know, so I'm like, okay, thank God. I just want to be the way <laughs> I was, if that is the case. So he told me, um, please don't envy me, you know, but good thing you talk to me about it. So thank God I didn't pray for God to make me be like him because, I mean, I, I, I couldn't imagine going through the process of vomiting. But I could eat whatever I want to eat, except I don't want to eat them. So when he shared that story with me, I was like, wow, really? At that point, I was 310 pounds, 310 pounds. That was in 2018. Even up to last year, I was 310 pounds. But in November, I'm like, I'm going to do something about this, you know, because what am I going to tell God if I go back to heaven due to not taking care of myself? I, I have to because I must work on this weight stuff, you know. So the clothes, that, this shirt I'm wearing now wasn't my size then. It wasn't my size at all. I couldn't wear it. I, I, I forgot this shirt because I couldn't wear it. But now it's oversized. It's oversized. So to God be the glory, I've lost, I was 315, 315 pounds before I started. So I've lost about 70 pounds. I've lost 70 pounds. So I'm like, wow, I couldn't recognize myself, you know, in most cases. So I didn't lose my pounds by fasting. I didn't lose my pounds by praying. I, I was wo working out, but I realized that, you know, you have to listen to your dietitians, you know. I, I, I'm, I eat more of the pro proteinous food and I portion control and I also exercise. So there's nothing secretive about losing weight. It's just self-discipline. So I just feel like I want to share this uh, with you. But I also want to let you know you have to love yourself, no matter your weight size. Please, endeavor to love yourself. It's very important that you love yourself. Don't let someone make you think that you have to look a certain way to look beautiful. No matter how you are, you look beautiful. No matter how you are. So but you carry the weight, you carry the burden, so you know what your body system needs. So don't go and start losing because others are losing. Do it for yourself if that is what you want. Amen. Because that guy was envious of his slimness and I never knew he was going through such uh, emotional trauma. You know, the wife then told me, please, you can't. We even need you to pray for him. He's going through a lot. I said, really? Then uh, the cut is short. I, at some point... We met, I prayed for him. We realized he was going through depression. So that depression made him to lose weight. Amen. So don't envy people. Sometimes you may think this person is rich, but you don't know what that person is going through. I was thinking he was so slim, he could wear anything he likes. Me, I was finding it difficult, you know, sizing up in any clothes. But thank God for how he made me to be. So I'm working on it to stay healthy, to lose the cholesterol. And uh, I thank God for everything. I just feel like I want to drop this quick one. But hey, after listening to this message, I'm going to share a message. Make sure you wait for that message. It says, the, the gift of God is not a guarantee to heaven. It's not a ticket to heaven. That you have the gift of God is not a ticket to heaven. That would be our next message. But I just feel like sharing this quick testimony with you. God bless you. I love you. See you.